What's up, YouTubers? Today, we're going to talk about the Hinderer Knives XM18 3-inch. This particular blade is in with the Skinner grind. So, um, yeah, that's what's currently available in the Hinderer world. This is, of course, designed by Rick Hinderer himself. This is a 3-inch blade made of 20 CV steel. And um, it's this particular one is stonewashed. And the current price is $425 in Hinderer terms. And it is a 3.4 ounce uh, weighted knife. So actually quite very carryable and very close to that 1 ounce per inch of weight. Um, in terms of comparison knives, I'm going to go ahead and pull out a couple of Hinders. And um, probably the, the Hinderer that's closest to it is the Half Track. This particular one is um, with this the working finish. And then, of course, um, that, that's very close in actual size. But then you also have this gargantuan XM18 3.5 inch. So you, you kind of get an idea. As I had no idea that the 3 inch was going to be so much smaller than the 3.5. The 3.5 just absolutely just swallows it up. I mean, you can see it, it just covers it entirely, even though it's only just a half an inch difference in blade length. So um, as far as that blade length goes, there's a lot that goes with that in, in terms of the carry, the thinness, the weight, the steel, everything on that one, that particular one. So, um, yeah, that's uh, definitely not quite a good uh, comparison in terms of, I was quite shocked. Uh, in terms of actual kind of comparables that I have uh, that I have myself, is I think the, the, the Southern Grind Spider Monkey, just imagine, they do have actually just a regular drop point blade um, that's kind of rounded and so forth, but... Very similar, I found that these in terms of carry, width, and that sort of thing. On the Southern Grind tends to be uh, obviously a lower price. 250 I think, new. I got mine on the secondary market for like 150 And then also, one that I also felt that it was quite similar to was the, uh, um, in terms of carry, size, and, and use, um, just if I had to compare, this is the Kaiser Nye's uh, Ursa Minor. This is a Ray, Le Ray Laconico design. Again, this is a full... Full titanium uh, um, frame lock and um, definitely kind of reminded me if you kind of take a look at those blades uh, the shape really just uh, kind of made me feel like that this particular one in a, um, a harpoon blade so we'll go ahead and move that out of the way uh, you know like I said it's hinder and eyes come with a price but boy is the quality great and the quality of the build on this one is just fantastic let's jump right into the pros this thing I found cuts really well it cut actually, it, it's got 0.13 blade stock, which is definitely thinner than the half track, um, even though the blade lengths are about the same. Um, it's just a much thinner knife, and that 0.13 blade stock would just actually cut as well or better than the slicer grind. Again, if you take a look at this particular one, this is called the Skinner grind, um, and then the slicer grind, of course, comes up uh, much more traverse there, so it should slice better, but I actually found that this Skinner blade, you know, sliced and cut actually even better for the most part than that Skinner. So, or for, uh, sorry, than that, than that um, slicer grind. So very, very impressed with that actually. Um, it This definitely carries small, but it's ex extremely tough. You know, just this definitely carries with it the toughness of hinder or knives. And I, and I, I found I could just really wrench on this thing super solid that amazing same pivot the quarter inch pivot there um was fantastic so wow that quite impressed for a little 3.4 ounce knife um to do so well it is very fidgety left-handed and right-handed you got your flipper in the back the thumb studs work the d10 is quite strong so you really got to give that but left-handed too i actually found that it was actually really good you know in terms of the thumb stud and then of course you got your flipper so you know, for lefties or righties, even though, of course, it's a frame lock, which is going to slide towards righties, this is a great knife for either hand. Um, truly, that was definitely one of the strengths of this. The quality build and the modularity for, you know, a hinder knife is fantastic. You know, I actually, if you kind of peek up here in the corner of the screen here, I'm going to be replacing the hardware on this one with the anodized blue uh, titanium hardware to really just give it some extra pop on the, uh, the, the, on, on the lock side over here. So, you know, this is literally just as good as any of the other hinderers in terms of that goes. Um, also, and this belt, this um, belt clip, not belt clip, no, pocket clip, is just, it works really well. I actually found that the um, pocket clip on the, the half track, this particular one, does not work so well because the angle at the pole side here, we'll bring that up, 
just literally grabs on your pants every single time. Um, the XM, the 18 full three and a half inch is, is better. And, uh, th this one is kind of in between, you know, so this one actually works well. It's not too hard and it doesn't grab onto your pants there with that lock bar cutout, um, as much as bad as, as the half track does. Cause I definitely found the half track I had to put in my fifth pocket or just not actually clip it in, um, for the most part. So this one does a good job of kind of balancing that again, keeping that, uh, in, 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 in that met that mid range of, uh, you know, pretty good works well. Um, as far as the cons go, I would say that this one, you know, hinder and I are supposed to be hard use, so to speak. And, uh, we'll go ahead and put the glove on for this one. Hard use knife I always think of as gloves, and this one, you can do it with your thumb studs, but being the thinner, smaller knife, forget about it, because your gloves are going to catch right on, on that, um, that flipper tab there, so that's not going to be so good. You can, you can go ahead and deploy it, not so good, definitely not as good as the full size uh, 3.5 inch XM18, so what I'm thinking of hard use and gloves this does not pass the glove test so i would definitely say that is not a strength of this um you know this is the skinner grind on this one actually i could see myself i have i skinned a, a rabbit with it no i have not could i see myself doing it yeah actually i could i'd probably move it from bearings with the triway system um you know to the phosphor bronze or the teflon washers at that you know for that matter um so i think i could do it but if you're going to really call yourself a skinner, and I know it's to a degree just really a, a reference to the blade shape. But if you're going to be a skinner, I think, honestly, if you want to really actually portend to it, then I would say go ahead and put some jimping right there. And so there's no, really, there's no real jimping there, which is, this is kind of the position you'd be taking if you were going to skin something with this particular blade. Could it do it? Yeah. Would I rather have jimping there if I were going to actually skin with it? Yeah, absolutely. Um, and then the last thing is, though they missed the jimping up there, I would say the one place they did not miss the jimping, but they could have, would have been on the flipper here. This flipper being just a little bit smaller in, in stature than the regular XM18 3.5 inch, it just doesn't need this. You don't need this jimping. Um, this is an EDC carry in reality. And that particular, especially that last little jimp, I don't know if that's what those are called, but that last little jimp right there, it just, it's not really a, it's really not very pleasing on the deployment. Um, and also when you're really tightening your hand up into there, and by the way, uh, medium large hands, this fits pretty well, definitely a little bit uh, better, or it's certainly as good as the half track does for a medium uh, large hand. But that little jimp, when you're actually cutting, and I did do some cutting with this one, it just literally kind of digs into your hand. So that's not a good thing, and it's not really necessary. So from my perspective, it's like, hey, you know what? You wouldn't have to lose your modularity of things, um, you know, like if you were to have to, let's say, uh, kill these two knockdowns here uh, on the backside jumping. It's just not necessary, I think. And I actually, that's one of those things, uh, if I decide to keep this, which I think I'm going to, is I might just even knock that down just a little bit. So that's kind of the you know last thing. And then, of course, the, the, the hinderer price, you know, is it worth it? I don't know. These are absolutely beautifully designed. I've never had a hinderer knife that is anything less than perfectly centered, and that includes after taking it apart two or three times. So no problems there. I Boy, it's definitely a hefty price, but is it worth it? <laughs> For me, it is, you know, when you're looking kind of for the best, it, it's, it is. So, uh, you know, it'd be, it's going to definitely be a con in terms of um, an entry point for some folks. Why this is $425, which is, you know, the same as, you know, this particular XM, the, the full XM18, the materials and so forth is, is you know, I, I don't see how it can be, but... I also understand why it really has to do with all the, the machine time and that sort of thing, the milling, the CNC cutting, all the things that have to go into making a precision tool like a, a knife like this. So I do get that. Um, I do get that. Overall, you know, my thoughts are this is a great hinderer small knife. If you want to enter into the world of hinderer knives and, you know, it's going to come with the same exact price as the other ones, you know, 425 entry point. Um, it's this is going to be great if you need to carry under a three inch blade or three inch or less. Um, if you can go a little bit bigger for my money, I would definitely choose and the 3.5 inch. Um, but this is a good smaller knife and does carry quite small. Like I said, it I barely noticed it was in the pocket, carried nice, went in and out of the pocket one handed easily. 
um, with that great hinder clip. And, uh, you know, for yourself, just decide. You know, if you're ready to step into the hinder world and you want a smaller blade, if you prefer that, this might be the one versus the 3.5 inch. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and like and subscribe and have a great day. Take care now.